Okay there guys, so you're gonna try a voiceover, I've never done this before. What you're seeing here is a slop sink that was uh, installed by us, supplied by the customer, and the cabinetry was installed by the uh, guy who did the rest of the cabinetry over there in the basement. So next slide, I will show you what I did and why. In the next photo, what you're going to see is the sink is actually upside down sitting on top of the washing machine and the little lip that is on the edge creates a, um, a deficit that when this faucet comes and gets installed, it's going to get clamped down and bend. So what I did is I inlaid a piece of wood. As you can see, here's a piece of wood and it's kind of traced to the right size. It's quarter inch plywood quarter inch thick plywood, 16 and a half inches wide, um, three and a quarter inches deep, and the hole is the size of the faucet. So here the piece of wood is inlaid into the beveled edge of the faucet, and as you can see it is completely flush. Next one you'll see how everything is flush and everything is even. Um, and then the final photos you'll see how it has been installed. So now now that everything's installed due to the lip, the quarter inch lip on this faucet, when it gets tightened down due to the fact that there's a wood deck under there, it doesn't bend the stainless steel. That is why people choose Mo from Mo's P H. Don't forget to visit turnupthecomfort.com.